Hey everyone, hey everyone, it's me Anthony, I'm back with another video for the Tony Anima Projects. That's right, we're back with another video of after a good time without recording anything to my channel because I was attending to some personal things in my real life. My personal life, like finding for another job or studying for another civil service exam or selective process or any other thing in order to to make a living so yeah we're back with another video for this one we're good I'm going to resume the original series for the BF 109 but beautiful isn't it my BF 109 in case you ask after the the last the video of the series I had I added this 14 number in case you ask it's the it's the squadron number né? each plane has a has a different number to the respective squadron or like in uh, back here I added it after the last video of the of the series so for the video I'm going to I'm going to answer one of the questions like mm, that asked about the the wheels that weren't rotating properly. If, well, I try my best to, to to redo what I did based on my last video of how to rig an aircraft. If, if I go on the pause mode and click on R Y button twice, you see it's spinning out of the place. You see the the main shaft is getting out from the main landing gear. For this video, I'm going to try. I'm going to fix this 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 detail. So we go on object mode. Then we go on edit mode. But for that we're going to use the wheel itself. Well, I'm going to use Alt Z. Ah, one thing I want to want to want to. In case you watch my last video on my channel, I added this screencast add-on. So, so we go here. It's showing the the mouse icon and the Alt A. We're gone here on the yeah this one Alt Z for allowing X-ray mode. There are different. There are several ways to fix the the bones rotation, the bone roll, and other things. When you see some things are rotating, rotating in a odd way or or misbehaving well. Now we go on the armature. We select the bone for. The base of the bone for the for the wheels, and uh, and the tip of the bone for the landing gear. We go on Shift S, selection to cursor. Then we go to the wheels. Same thing. Let's see how it goes. Rotate. Now it's rotating nicely. I know it's. I know I want. Mm, I really wanted to record. Quite sure that uh, quite soon, before I could abrupt, uh, could end the series quite sudden, before starting the Avril Lancaster. But then, this is how uh, how to fix the the wheel the, for my the BF one nine. Good. There are other ways to fix this. One of the ways is going to armature and go on bone roll. You have these options like local plus x tangent plus z tangent 
or minus x tangent or minus z tangent and there are other options or you can go clear row then you you clear the, the row you, you establish for the button just for demonstration see from 13 it moved to 0 run to report display we can change to octahedron but you can just the ball rotation if you want probably 55 degree I prefer the stick over the octahedral in case you want to see without any interruptions or any obstructions. There you go. Pretty nice, pretty smooth. This is one of the ways I want. Mm, this is what I can show you how to fix this this issue I could I could have done it early but but when it comes to running out IDs or mode or anything like that kind of kind of ends the, the project abruptly or anything like that and it's not quite good uh, another thing I want to show you uh, is the ailerons. Uh, in case you are, in case you are familiar, uh, when I try to rotate on x, y axis, one side of the one side of the aileron is is getting higher than the other. It's not moving nicely like it should be. Same thing for the for the flaps. I'm going to show a different technique I learned. I also I learned and yeah, learned from a video I watch and and trying new methods in how to rig the the plane's aileron flaps and other um, other other flight. Flight control systems like the uh, rudder, the elevator. The rudder and the elevator will remain the same, but for the flaps and the aileron, I'm going to show you a different technique. So, we'll leave only these three elements the ailerons. Alright, let's go for, let's start with the aileron. Right. This is how. Um, this is the new technique I have. I discovered and learned. There's a video I watched from a guy who was rigging a. I don't know. I don't remember if it was. Well, there was one of the X six M zero, but he used the same tech, the original idea, but but the aileron was rotating nicely. Nice, I don't know why my... And another one, the guy used the the, ma the mesh itself instead of bones, but he used the, the shape keys. That topic would be for another video. So let me show you what I... Let me show you. Oops. Alright, that's one. It's dy instead of x. Alright. This is looking damn good. <laughs> this is how I did. 
uh, in case you're not in case you follow me on other social media like Instagram or Facebook or my blogspot because I often share my content on blogspot and these two other websites I also do I also share on Twitter I'll I always leave the links on the description for these web for these platforms well like as I'm saying this is how I did for my at first I tried on my Hawker Hurricane the second the second British air, fall, air fighter I was making I was working on blender well let's go and do the same for the, the flaps uh, in case you ask I removed the the extra bone for the flaps it is attached to the to the main flaps the radiator flaps in case in case you ask But there's one thing I want to uh, I was uh, I must warn you. Once I change the uh, once I change the, the alignment for this bone, I must change it on the action properties for for the for the flight to combat mode and flight to landing gear. But this topic will be for another video, okay? So let's do the same like uh, for the for the flaps <clears throat> not bad not bad Oops. Now this is now this was bad. Mm. This is going to give me some some troubles. Uh, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah, this is it. This is how I mm, I want to show you how to how to craft some things and how to rig how to rig the plane's elevator the elevator uh, the ailerons the flaps and how to craft the do the wheels the wheels from the wings and landing gear. There is another thing. There is another um, flight control system that I must add for the BF to the BF one hundred nine. Is the 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 edging slats, which is this piece of uh, this device from the from the wings. In case you ask, uh, in case you don't know, the BF one nine it was one of the few one of the aircrafts that added this new technology due to its small wing surface compared to the Spitfire, the A six M zero, the Warhawk, the Mustang, or any other. World War Two air fighter, which was an in, was a feature that really Master Smith added to his to his air fighter. Then he did the same for the BF one ten, the ME two hundred sixty two, and a few other aircraft from German Luftwaffe. Not sure if there was another aircraft like the BF 
DBF 109, a DBF 110, the, the 262. And the Soviets, Lavochkin LA-5, LA-7, and the LA-GG-3 also received the same edge slats to increase to increase lift in in combat well that's it what i can show you my friends i hope you like this video i plan to bring more to continue in this series the next video i plan to add the slats and paint the aircraft all right in case you enjoyed this video please add it Please give a thumbs up if you if you really enjoyed. Add it to your to your playlists and share it to your friends on social media. It will help me a lot to share my works. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and ring the bell button to receive new notifications. Well, that's it for now, my friends. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.